Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Shida confronts Shida. It's like that Spider-Man meme of the Spider-Man pointing at himself. Dude, I'm so hyped for this. I hope this goes bad. Why? Because this show is built on drama. Reality television needs drama. It's like healthy gossip. Do you see what these fucking people on 9 Day Fiance are doing? It's like bonding for America. Let's see how terribly this goes. But before we do, this episode is sponsored by you guys. You guys over on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. That's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hate swears and you guys are killing it over on patreon it really means the world to me the support is unreal um that's the best way to support because like most youtubers mute or bleep out swears that's because youtube instantly demonetizes every single video right away that would take me hours to mute out all the swears not happening some people say to not swear in the first minute i have tried that i have tested that in the past not the case doesn't matter dude after the first 60 seconds like if you call somebody a cunt they're demonetizing. And somebody was like, you don't need a curse to be funny. I was like, I'm not cursing to be funny. This is how I talk. So to support and fight back against YouTube, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. Let's see if I'm worth it. I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, so this should be new for both of us. I felt disrespected. Okay, what did I say to make you hurt and upset? Remember how Shida number two is like, I'm expecting an apology. Shida number one is not having it. Actually, technically, Shida's number two, and the new Shida's number three. They never bring that up, though. I think it's not what you say, but how you said it. You were very much aggressive. You had a lot of reach. Uh, Shida. Um, Shahida. <laughs> oh, this is going nowhere. Now who's being aggressive? She says your name, and you respond with her name? Oh, this is good. Did I yell at you? Oh, he's fucking there? <laughs> He's not saying shit. This is amazing. I feel like if they fought, whoever won, that's who he would marry again. I don't know if you don't see yourself when you're angry, but it was not so peaceful. You didn't, you, like, you came with the, blocks, the boxing gloves on. I perceived you this way. Well, that's on you. Shida number one does kind of always seem a little aggressive, though, which is great for television. I'm not about to sit here and stand for that, because that's not what I did. That is the tone I heard. You see how you, you see it's now coming out of you, that aggression? That's the person who I, I witnessed. See, right there, how you're not being submissive and standing up for yourself? That's what I don't like. I'm not going to pick sides on this, honest. I'm just going to be an asshole. Read the bio. Shahida wants to sit here and be a victim. She wants to get away with her bad behavior as usual, and I'm not going to put it to rest. That's weird, because Shida number one could say literally the exact same sentence. Acknowledge that you hurt my feelings, apologize, and move on. You're not going to play me out to be a liar when I'm not lying. Just because you got your feelings hurt does not mean you deserve an apology. Offense is taken, not given. I think as people, sometimes... We may do things, we may say things that another person may take it another different way. Oh, great. Chiming in with absolutely fucking nothing. Both of these women are smarter than him. I mean, they married him, actually, so maybe not. I mean, it's, it's like you came ranting and raving. I was just, like, standing me in the kitchen, like, I don't want her coming back. Like, I was, like, ready to ban you from my home. It's like, she cannot come back here and behave like that. Ban me from my home. From your home? Yeah. Oh, God, that was like the worst fucking thing she could say. It's like she knew that was going to push a button. Oh, man, every episode should be like this. I'm actually sad that it's halfway over. That's why I'm pausing so much. I'm trying to relish in the moment. Okay. That's to tell you how hurt and upset I was. If I was a betting man, I would say she's not going to apologize. She might go, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but I can't, I couldn't see it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Boo fucking who. You're an adult. Grow up. This conversation is no longer a conversation. It's just an argument. Honestly, I, I didn't say any much because I'm trying to stay neutral. You're trying to stay neutral between your ex-wife and your new wife? What is that, red flag number 17? Did we run out of red flags? Blindly stick up for your woman and then talk to her on the side, like at home, in the comfort of your own home, and be like, hey, actually, you fucked up, but actually don't say anything. I like this. 
I want to get along with my ex-wife. You know, we have children, and we want to make sure all that is peaceful. But also, I want to support my wife, you know, this person I sleep in the bed with every night. You guys are, you know, grown adults, you know, and it shouldn't be any bad blood between either one of y'all. Like, I don't want it to be like bad blood between us. I was looking to get to know you, have a good relationship with you. I was actually hoping for us to like be cordial with each other. Like I wanted us to be compatible for the sake of the kids. But I just want you to acknowledge the fact that when you came inside my home, you came at rage, you were not cordial, you were not polite. That's all I want you to like acknowledge it. That's not true. For some reason in my mind, I'm going, I don't think she was being rude. Like, I just think that's how she is. Like, she doesn't seem like the type to really fuck around. She's like, let's get down to business, okay? I want to be cool with you for the kids. Well, you're doing a pretty fucking bad job. I'm not going to apologize for something that I didn't do. Woo! Yes! God, it feels good to be right. Then why did you come here? I came here to actually clear the air, apology. but I'm not apologizing for I'm you done. telling- I'm done. I'm literally done. <laughs> oh my God. She sounds like a 14 year old. I'm literally done. I'm so done with this conversation. Bitch, shut up. I'm going in there expecting an apology. I'm not giving an apology. I'm fucking out of here. It's like Shida number one is the adult and Shida number two is like the autistic 27 year old. Blah, you better get her because you know this will get real no, you, left. No, you better get her. Oh my God, just repeating what she says, dude. Honestly, she's fucking insufferable. You okay? Real quick. She thinks she's the only one who has you real quick. That one very nasty. Real quick. Fuck yes, God, that was good. The exact opposite of apology. God, I wish I was there, man. I would be like Joe Rogan when somebody gets knocked out. I'd be like, how does that feel? Did anybody think she was gonna apologize? Let me know what you guys think. I don't. She kind of seems like the type of woman who like doesn't do things she would have to apologize for. And Shida number two completely fucked this up. Sorry, I just got so distracted by somebody's thumbnail of a uh, huge anime titties. What were we talking about? That was dope. I wanted to see where that went. I wanted to see how aggressive it could get. That, that was a good clip. Good job, TLC. This is like the second one this month. Uh, still go fuck yourself, copyright claiming cunts. But this does make me want to see more. Like, I wish it was nine minutes. Shida number two, no self-confidence. Shida number one, ready to fucking swing. Love it. You could tell why he picked Shida number two, like the exact opposite of Shida number one. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. If you want to see some more shit like this, I actually do stand-up comedy over on my second channel, youtube.com slash Karski. I just uploaded episode 90, and I just filmed episode 100. I did my 100th set yesterday. So I've been doing it 10 months. In 10 months, I did 100 sets. You could see it evolve from the beginning to where it is now. Like, in the beginning, it was so fucking bad, so cringy. You're like, this is never going to work out. But now it's not too bad. I'm going to start sending out clips to get booked. So hopefully, I'll be, like, doing shows in the Chicagoland area and then spreading out to hopefully a city near you. Why am I doing this with my fingers? On the second channel, I have a series called The Comedian, which follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. Like, I talk in the car, little vlog style of, like, the set that I'm about to do, what I'm about to say and stuff. I do the set, and then I have, like, a little podcast after it where I review the set and then talk about, like, how it went and shit like that. I think, like, a lot of people are interested in the inside baseball of stand-up and, like, what really goes on behind the scenes and shit. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Markarski. If not, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I love you. Mwah.